Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to this daily divine capsule sent to us by God for our daily unction to function. Listen to it. First thing as you wake up, make it a way of life to be God's first in your life every day. Receive the prophetic impartational blessings. Listen to teachings or the testimonies for the day. Carry out the prophetic faith action that God may be leading us to do for that day. Then pray some more on your own. If you do this daily consistently enough, it will transform your life and your things beyond your wildest imagination. As you listen to this audio message, you should subscribe to Turning Point Today. Do so now. Welcome also to Wednesday, the 14th day in December 2022. Please open your hand and have to receive and be responding with Amen. I receive it. God's strong presence We accompany you everywhere you go today. December is the last month of the year, and God's word says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. This month shall be better for you, by all means and in all ways. I see in the spirit, the word helped, written boldly and pasted on you. You will enjoy help everywhere, and in all you do, I prophesy, help everywhere, help every day, help every time, help in all you do. I decree on all my listeners all round help. You will soon be known as the one that God has helped. God, the helper of men, will help you. Who is this? You are experiencing trouble in your place of work, with your boss perhaps, or with your colleagues. Lies against you, they gossip on you, connivances and contrivances against you and your interests. Someone has not even been implicated as I speak. Thus says the Lord. I will scatter them. I will fight your battle. I will turn them against themselves. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 10 says, Take counsel together. It shall come to nothing. They will speak the word. It shall not stand. For God is with you. Wow, that's for you. Start rejoicing. You are an overcomer already. In Jesus' name. Everyone with a court case, with litigation, you are discharged and acquitted. The judgment shall be in your favor. Who is this? Your last bad experience will not return again. Now whom chapter 1 verse 9 says, Affliction shall not return the second time. Who is this? You are feeling the symptoms of a sickness you had already given testimony about that God has healed. Or a pain that once left is like it's coming back again. The devil is a liar. Touch that part of your body. Let me pray. I prophesy, Affliction shall not return the second time, in the name of Jesus. Once healed by God, it is healed forever. Take your healing and your good health back. Everyone finding it difficult to sleep well at night, touch your forehead for me to pray. Psalm 127 verse 2 says, God gives his beloved sleep. Sleep, good nightly sleep, is a gift from God. Receive that gift now. From now on, you will sleep every time you want to sleep like a baby. And prophesy, it shall be so. Next, today's celebrant. If today is your birthday, let me pray for you. God will bless your new age. He will give you unique birthday gift you will remember for a lifetime. He will bless you with long life and prosperity in Jesus' name. First issues for teaching and counseling today. Daddy, what can I do with a gratuity of about 3 million naira. Thank you, sir. Wow, gratuity. That suggests to me that you are not a young person anymore. First of all, put it in an interest-yielding fixed deposit so you will not mistakenly spend it in a good bank while you decide what to engage with that will not be strenuous for your age and yet be yielding good profit. Depending on how strong you are physically, if you can locate a user a factory, a house, a high selling sales outlets of some essential product you can be regularly supplying and with signed agreement, three million can fetch you something regularly. Someone can produce 2023 pocket size diary, very attractive and beautiful for supply to a highly selling patronized outlet. It made good profit. These are some suggestions. I will advise that you talk to business experts. It also depends where you are, your environment. Talk to experts, 
but never give it to a third party to engage in business for you. It may vanish. Next, good evening, sir. I got converted. I was once a Muslim, but got converted to Christianity. I want a Christian name. Daddy, please name your daughter. Thank you, sir. Wow. Two names popped up in my spirit. Miriam or Dorcas. Pick one of them and let me know the ones you eventually pick. Good daughter. God bless you. Next, my mommy insisted that she does not want me to marry a divorcee brother, but a single brother. It is 10 months now. We have been praying. She kept insisting. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Wow. Don't be confused. I support mommy. What to do is prayerfully wait for your God-ordained husband. He will show up. Engage spiritual warfare prayers as we teach you here on these issues. Make yourself uh, a marriageable material. Loving, kind, lively, God-serving. Your right man will locate you soon. Next, good morning, Daddy, and the family of Turning Point. I want to ask why Daddy always pray for single ladies to find husband and not pray the same prayer for single men to find wife too. Wow, really? I do pray for both. Maybe the ladies come to mind more often. For one thing, ladies do not go about asking men's hands in marriage. It is the man that go about searching, picking, and sometimes dropping. Ladies wait for who will come and who God will send to them. So it is somehow tougher for ladies. Even if they see somebody they like, they can't jump on him and say, come and marry me. I think remembering them quite often is good. There are many more young men disappointing and breaking relationship with ladies than ladies do to men. I pray for both male and female. God will give you the right person that will make you fulfilled in your marriage life. Next, sir, I'm here for your advice. I'm the one you spoke about with a word of knowledge that made a vow, but refused to pay his vow. And God is angry with him. And he took my money away from me. Truth be told, in Shiloh 2010, I made a vow of 500,000 naira. God blessed me with a lot, but I forgot to pay my vow. It has not been easy for me ever since, up and downs in my life and family. Sir, I'm expecting another money by Friday. I live in Ghana, and Winner's Church, Living Faith, is building a university here in Ghana, in Senya. I wanted to buy a land closer to the university for rented apartment. The amount I'm expecting is the same amount of money. I don't know. If I will have to pay my vow or buy the land, I need your advisor. Wow. Making a vow to God, getting blessed, and failing to pay the vow. My answer for you is in Proverbs chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. Read it on your own. All listeners, please find time to read that passage. Let me paraphrase it. It says in verse 4, When you make a vow unto God, don't delay to pay it. For God has no pleasure in fools. Pay that which you owe God. In verse 5, it says, it is better not to make a vow than to make a vow and not pay it. That's God's word for you. We can't change it. We cannot modify it. You disobey once. You told us how much you suffered. Now, another opportunity has come to right the wrong. If I were you, I will pay the vow this time around and also put something on top as a sin offering, asking God to please forgive me. If you do, it will amaze you how God will bless you and turn things around for you. Same thing applies to tight. Don't owe God tight, business and personal tight. Give God his own portion, and he will protect you and open heavens on you. Listeners, this is how far we'll be able to go today. We will build on this tomorrow. Please keep listening and keep rebroadcasting to all on your contact. Today, Wednesday, is the prayer mountain service at our Abuja Center. Same place, same venue, Living Spring Chapel, Akado Life Camp, 12 to 2 p.m. after the fish market. Please be there live today. Telephone numbers to call for more information is 0806 Tomorrow is the prayer mountain service at Goshen Land, Ikeja, Lagos. All Lagosians, two services will run there on Thursday. That will be 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. 
Don't miss it for anything. Please be there. Anointed mantle will be given out freely. Anointed money will be given out freely for God to bless you. Focus is anointing to rule and reign. Come to be anointed for your throne. Same services we hold at Dominion City, Aduloju bus stop, along the Woro Dojo Express Road, Ibadan, Koloba Abel Kuta, Oshobo Anakure. Telephone numbers to call for direction to all the places, Dupe on 0806-478-8392. Start calling and chatting now. It shall be live streamed, so connect from all over the world on Thursday. Then this morning at Dominion City, Ibadan, in the ongoing world lifting conference, also known as Shiloh 2022, God's servant, Pastor J.T. Kalejai of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, will continue with what he started with us yesterday evening. It was a wow yesterday's evening. All listeners, all ministers in the Five Food Ministries, all sons and daughters, all redeemites, all winners, all living springers, all Christians, male and female, young and old, all over and around the Badon. Be there this morning, 8 a.m. He will minister. I will also minister. You will be so blessed. Then each time we receive the alert of your tithe, personal or business tithe, battle, thanksgiving, partnership commitment, and the 12, 12, 12 seed we are sowing this month. I pray for you. God answers my prayers. Your heavens will open. I prophesy to everyone's life today, you will do good. God will bless you massively. Help will come for you. Favor will wrap you around. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.